Hey Stampers, Gainer again. Um, I'm going to be using ooh, the new Stampin' Celebration item, which is it's called Reverse Words, and you get these two beautiful stamps. This one says cheers, this one says ray. Um, but don't be fooled by the shape and try and get your uh, stamp because otherwise your words will end up slanted. You need to get your words straight and then ignore the pattern, well, follow the pattern. That's the bottom corner, that's the top corner and your message is running straight through there. So I'm going to show you my card. I'm also going to be using one of the sentiments out of the balloon occasions and it says it's your birthday which is oh there's my pop-up in here so that's the stamps we'll be using today you too um this is the card i made with um sweet sugar plum i'm going to be doing it in the mint macaron today i love this color uh, I'm going to again stamp hooray and then here I'm going to say it's your birthday so I'm going to move that up slightly but I'm going to show you how we got these without using any more paper bar that so we're going to cut those from here and I've even cut enough for the inside which you can use off this piece of paper because you're bored you're not going to see and the other bit's going to be attached to your card so why waste any paper? So that's my card. I'm going to do it slightly different. I'm going to have the confetti go in all the way round. I attached this one yesterday and ooh, and then I wished I'd done it all over. But uh, I'm going to set that to one side. Your card is just a typical card, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Yes, I got that the right way. Make sure the ends meet. Lovely. Um, we don't need this for a moment. I'm going to pop it to one side. Um, I'm going to fetch in a piece of scrap just in case. We'll do the punching in a moment, but I'm going to do the stamp it first. And because it's a large stamp, I'm going to ink up like this. And I've kind of got it all around the edge anyway, so I'll, I'm going to go back to the original way. Um, I want this more towards this so it can leave space for my sentiment. Either that or I want it down the bottom. Let me just see how that one works. Yes, I think I'm going to do it down the bottom this time. No, I can't because I want to say hooray, it's your birthday, not it's your birthday. Oh, you could, it's your birthday, hooray. Yay. Well, there we are, let's give it a go. I can always turn over. I am, um, I've got the cushion off the uh, stamp and I've also got the cushion off my, my grid paper because I leave it all attached. I don't, uh, well, I did it right, it's just upside down, <laughs> so my sentiment is going down here. Oh well, that's cool. And I'm going to use my basic black archival ink pad. And like I say, it's your birthday. It will just fit in there, it might overlap a little bit, or I could put it up there. I don't know. We'll see. I ink this. I refilled this last week and it's nice and juicy still, so... Let me see. It is going to go through the Y, but if I go up there, it won't. That down for a few seconds. Quick card. Really quick and simple. Oh, that's cool. I like that. 
And it's only me and you know how it goes anyway, so. Get rid of my scrap now. Oh, glitter, 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 glitter. I'm using my star punch. And I'm going to do it from behind because uh, it tends to cut. Don't go too close to the edge. I need two of those. I love these punches. I do love the dies as well, but oh, I love the punches. Right, I'm going to fetch you my little itty bitty star as well, and I want two of those, so I'm going to get as close to the pos. One. Let's see. And two. One for the inside, one for the out. And we're going to cover that up anyway, so nobody is going to see it. And I've got glitter everywhere now. How sweet. You're not going to see that once it's attached to your card. You, even, you could even put it on dimensionals if you wanted to. Uh, I'm just going to lay it flat. I'm going to use my Tumbo glue. And I'm going to do the back of the card. Because like I say, it's going to go through. But I'm going to be attaching that to my other card. Oh, I might do Yes, I'll do this. I'm going to stamp on my... Uh, Card as well with the confetti punch, so let's line this up. I hope I've not gone off camera too much. Whoops, I think the Tombow or the Fast Fuse works better with the glimmer paper. Oh, how quick and simple is this? Look how pretty it is. Right, I'm going to set that to one side. I'm going to fetch my card back in. So I've got, like I say, I'm using, I'm used, I've used It's Your Birthday, but I'm also using this confetti. Um, just to show it is party time. And I'm going to lay my scrap there. I'll turn it that way so you can see it properly. <clears throat> lay my scrap for there now. Just while I stamp. I don't want any going on the back of the card, so. And we don't have to do the centre because, uh, let me just check. Oh, it's lovely. Yay, it's party time. I can't sing for a toffee, but. I'll give it a whirl. <laughs> Doesn't matter about. No one's going to see this anyway, it's going to be covered over. But I'm just going to go jolly all the way around. I love this confetti stamp. It really shows celebration, which is what we are having right now with Stamping Up. But anyone having a birthday likes to celebrate. <gasps> We're going to be covering the centre anyway, but oh my god, I love that. How cute. And I didn't even get any on my scrap paper. Aren't I clever? <laughs> oh, I might. Oh, let's keep it open just for a second. I didn't do it on the other card, but I'm going to get rid of the scrap. I'm going to open my card and I'm just going to do it down this edge. Just the one side. And I'm going to add my stars as well. This card is, is going to be rapid. So. Take one of each of your stars, the big and the small. Some Tombow on there. In fact, I'm going to use a Tombow on this one. I'm sticking. Go oh, blimey, that soon dries on there. Oh, go on, I'll, I'll, while I've got it out. Isn't it? Once in, whilst in Rome, as they say. Whoops. <coughs> corner. Game of my little one. I can add that one there. 
I've got a baby wipe here, so I just wipe my peers in the uh, tool. This card's going to be over in a flash. Press it down. See, I, I, oh, look how cute that is. You could leave that like that if you wanted. But I'm going to add a star in the corner. Oh, I might even add this on dimensionals. I think I will, you know. Give it some pop. And add a few here, there, and everywhere. One more. <coughs> I do apologise. But you could do these on the note cards which they sell. I think they're about £5.50. Or 20 cards and 20 envelopes. They're slightly smaller than the card. I think they're five by three and three quarters. But you could use, say, cheers and thank you as thank you cards. Um, and at the rate that I'm popping this card out, you could have 20 done in, well, 10 in 20 minutes if, if you wanted. So let's pop this. Try and keep it in the center ish. Put the border all the way around. They're so damn cute. There. Best do it properly. Oh, that's so cute! Isn't that? Cute? Oh my god, I love it. Just thinking, if you add some, um, I haven't got any at the moment. Mint macaron ribbon. You could add a piece of ribbon as well. I'm gonna fetch these in now. I think I'm going to add a dimension to my large star. And pop that right in the corner. But I'm going to push down so the dimensional is the same as the dimensionals these are on. How oh, cute. And that again. Oh, I'm going to use a glue dot for this one. I think it's small enough. Yeah. But you've got your border and you haven't wasted any paper. You've utilised it to the Mac. I might just stick that one down there. How sweet is that? And we're done. Just so quick. I love that. A little bit of a crease on my card there. Go on, with your bone folder and Lovely. There we, there we go. I'm finished. <laughs> I've shocked myself. It's my fastest video yet. Um, thumbs up, share, subscribe and if you enjoyed the video. And if you follow the link in the description box, I'll put all the dimensions on my blog as well. But uh, hey, thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye.